Hello YouTube! Do you enjoy the insanity that is Wings Hauser? If so, then I got the right movie for you. I am Torstein from Cinema Terror, and welcome to my review of the Wings Hauser directed, Wings Hauser co written, Wings Hauser produced, and of course, Wings Hauser starring crime drama Gang Boys, also known as Skins from 1994. Gang Boys is set in Los Angeles, where a group of wannabe Nazis are roaming the streets, doing all kinds of vicious deeds like harassing homeless people, tagging the Hollywood Walk of Fame with Nazi graffiti, and of course, stopping traffic. The boys are having a celebratory party, as a new lost, drunk and drugged girl is set to join the gang. Her initiation party is decided by rolling some dice. The options are plenty, with getting gangbanged by the skinheads being very likely. However, she rolls snake eyes, which gets the gang up to go out and kidnap a gay guy to have him as rape food for the woman. The gang finds, tortures, and makes her rape a 15 year old kid named Marjo, played by Dave Bussara. Marjo happens to be the kid of Linda Blair's character Maggie. And after she has seen her only child laying unconscious in the hospital, she sets out to find his father, as he should know what has happened and be there for their son. The father in question is Joe Joyner, played by our hero Wings Hauser. Joe is given up on justice and society after making a deadly mistake that got a teenager killed while he was on work as a police officer. He has done everything to stay by himself, by moving down to the desert of New Mexico with his only friend in life being the bottle of cheap tequila. Welcome to Mexico. <laughs> Linda, I mean Maggie, has to convince Wings, I mean Joe, to get back in shape and be there for his son, while at the same time he needs to find the strength to take revenge and end this gang of skinheads once and for all. Or where to even start on this one? Gang boys might look like a typical vigilante type of film, with a guy having someone close to him being tortured by a group of no good thugs, but gang boys is not satisfied by going down that route. Instead, this is more about Wings Hauser getting his act together and reconnecting with his family. Except the one drunken brawl, Wings doesn't go against the Nazis before the final 5 minutes, and by that point they had in a silly plot twist with him getting assistance from other groups of the community that has also gotten tired of the evil shenanigans by the Nazis. This part of the film is over and done with before you know it, so an advice for me if you decide to watch this film is that you should not get yourself invested in the Nazi gang, and rather just sit back and enjoy the madness of Wings Hauser. You don't need a drink. What you need is help. I know, but uh, first I need a drink. I really do. When are you going to grow up? It's three in the morning. Everything is closed. You're just going to end up back in jail. Look, I don't want to sit on these steps at three o'clock in the morning and argue with you, all right? I want a drink, damn it. That's what I do. I drink. I want a drink. I say that as the most enjoyable part of Gang Boys is watching Wings' performance. I would not be surprised if he was actually drunk in some of these scenes. He is basically the opposite of the 80s action hero, out of shape, unable to kick ass and a failure, but that's kinda why I like him. And make no mistake, he can actually act, and gets plenty of time in the movie to show off different sides of himself, or should I say the character that he's playing. He gets to play against Linda Blair for much of the film, and as a big fan of The Exorcist and several of her other 80s exploitation films, it seemed like a good casting choice for this role. She doesn't get to do all that much here except drag Wings out of the gutter, but it's always nice to see her, regardless of how much she gets to work with. There is also a sex scene between her and Wings, and while there is nudity, I'm going to guess that it was handled by a body double. The two of them also have a song each on the soundtrack, and Blair is also credited being an associate producer on the film. It's too bad that the film didn't turn out to be a Wings Hauser vs the Nazis movie. 
which he does set up in the first part. I would have loved to see him go full Charles Bronson death wish on the scumbags and it would have made the movie go from being a guilty pleasure into being a well, great guilty pleasure. Because they do set up the Nazis pretty well. They come off as awful over the top but menacing bastards, so it is a shame that they have to play in the background for the majority of the final half of the film. The leader of the brutal gang of no hair having Hitler worshippers are actually played by Wing's son Cole Hauser, and he does come off quite intimidating. Again, it's too bad that the two of them didn't have a better showdown at the end. Within the walls of Landsberg Prison, Deutschland. Gang Boys starts out superb, but then takes a shift and wants to go the more emotional route. While this does give us some awesome Wings Hauser acting, it does make the overall experience a bit lackluster, as there is not giving any time for him to fully take on the bad guys. With some adjustment to the story structure, this could have ended up being a true hidden gem, but even in its final state, I still had a lot of fun watching it. Gang Boys might not be for everyone, but if a movie about Wings Hauser as a drunken former cop taking on a group of scumbag Nazis, if only for a few minutes, sounds good to you then you need to check this out. Gang Boys is nearly a great experience, so I'm going to give it a final score of 3.5 out of 5. Has anyone else seen this film? It's not exactly the most known film that Hauser or Blair has been in. Speaking of which, if you were to recommend a hidden gem or two from each of their filmography, which films would it be? I did do a review of a Women in Prison film starring Linda Blair a few months or so ago called Red Heat. That's a fun one to check out. Well, I'm out here to start working on a new video. Hope you enjoyed this one, like, subscribe and all that usual shit all of us YouTubers say, and hope to see you again next time here on Cinema Terror.